hello, hello! Did you miss me? Santa Torch is back! As always, Santa Torch comes on December 7th, also known as Shout Out Day. Santa Torch takes over the channel while WT takes his time and goes ahead and makes the end of the year project known as WT Corp test number two because test number one was last year with simulation complete So WT is currently working on that while I am taking over the channel as I always do Santa Torch is back and today is December 7th and last year we declared December 7th shout out day So this year I'll be giving out more shout outs now There's gonna be some of the same shout outs as last year because hey shout outs are shout outs And there's gonna be some that aren't on the list as they were last year now. I don't want to waste your time because Santa Torch needs to get to it as we know I leave on December 26th one day after Christmas I have a lot to do I have Christmas games to play apparently WT left Firewatch unfinished and he told me to finish it up for him like what so I'm gonna be finishing up Firewatch for him I've watched all the videos I know what happened I'm hopefully gonna be playing some more Christmas games as I did last year last year we had some Christmas games they were all right this year, hopefully, they're better. I did kill Santa, though, because as we know, there can only be one. Who's the real Santa? It's me, babe. Oh, he's not dead. He's dead. It's me. That's what I'm talking about. Santa Torch just became the real Santa. The only Santa. The best. Of Santa's and yeah, let me stop wasting your time because Santa Torch needs to get to these shout outs All right, the first shout out that I have here is Arian B3 now Arian B3 has not uploaded in a little bit because he's currently taking a very long break I heard that he will come back someday, but he is taking a big break But that doesn't take away from his amazing content. His content's amazing if you ever just need to laugh Literally go watch any of Arian's video. All right, the next person on the shout out list is gaming zoom gaming zoom has been popping off Homie has 10k almost 11k subs. He's uploading like five videos a day. He's doing a whole bunch of reactions He's doing shorts. He's doing gaming. He's doing a bunch of stuff And he definitely deserves a watch if you have nothing to do go watch some gaming zoom Go watch some Arian b3 go watch anybody that's on this list Let me just say that take it from Santa torch these people may not have that many subs But that's just because they're undiscovered regardless You should check out everybody on this list go check out freaking gaming zoom next person on the list is Seton CS. Now he doesn't even upload, but he did help my fellow WT out with simulation complete last year. He's also been helping with other things for other creators. And not to mention, he's been a good boy this year. It says here that he did all of his chores and um, and that's it. Well, um, go follow Seton on Twitter, I guess. Next person on the shout out list is Deluxe. Deluxe has a Twitch and a YouTube. He streams every once in a while. He uploads every once in a while. The content is genuinely good. If you need to just chill, have nothing to do, go watch some Deluxe videos. Go watch a Deluxe stream. Not to mention he helped WT out with Crab Game. And by that, I mean he was in the video. Oh, he has 274 subs. The question is, can we raise that number? Can we hit 280? Can I get six people to go over to Deluxe's channel and click that subscribe button? Hey. Do it for Santa Torch. Anyways, next person on the shout out list is the Homebrew Boy. Oh my god, they have exponentially improved since last year. And I don't mean last year they were bad, last year they were great. It's just this year they have been putting in, in my opinion, so much more work. The Homebrew Boys stream like all the time on Twitch. They upload their VODs and, and different kinds of videos on YouTube. They currently have 598 subscribers. Can that go up to 600? That's that's the real question. They got vlogs. They got, they're, they're playing Far Cry right now. They got stream highlights. They got unboxing. They got shorts. They got everything. They really do. They have 227 followers on Twitch. Hey. Go give the Homer Boys a watch. Go follow them on Twitch. Go follow them on YouTube or subscribe to them on YouTube. They're great. Next on the list is Strange Lil Tart. She mainly does Twitch streams and she every once in a while posts some highlights or, or the VOD to YouTube. But her Twitch streams are genuinely funny. She usually plays horror games. The chat is somewhat 
pretty active. And in general, she's funny. She has 423 followers on Twitch. I'm not even surprised. Actually, she, she streamed two days ago. Her commentary, in my opinion, is, is pretty good. And yeah, go give Trench a little turtle watch. Why not? Next on the list is No Script Nick. No Script Nick was recently in a crab game video that I uploaded. He also hasn't uploaded in a while. Actually, his last upload was Goodbye. Now, I know that might be like, hey, yo, Santa Tor, why would you tell us to subscribe and go check out a dude that literally said goodbye? He's not doing YouTube anymore. Well, first of all, his content is very good. Second of all, he will continuously be active on other people's channels. WT made a video with him where they reacted to like the, the whole EDP situation a while back. So now WT and him are currently working on a way for them to start reacting to a couple different things. So no Script Nick will still be around, just not as much on his own channel. Although on his Discord server, he did say, guess who's working on a new video? Hey, who knows? Next on the list is Noonikin TV. Oh my God, bro. Every time I talk about Noonikin, it's like there's no bad things. Homie is at 313. Can we get him to 320? It's just seven of you. And trust me, the seven of you that click on that subscribe button We'll probably enjoy what he makes, like genuinely. Noonikin TV puts in an insane amount of work in my opinion, or at least from what I see. He does these extravaganza things, they're like two hours long, three hour long, like videos. Like his latest one was the Noonikin TV Fall Extravaganza 2021. It's basically a whole bunch of like content, a whole bunch of different things happening. I know they, they, they did like a, a speed run of something, right? A, a speed run of like, like fall activities it played video games bro literally a two hour long video so much work put into it then he also has these channel bumpers because nude kids are pretty good in my opinion a pretty good artist so he makes some things on blender and he like animates them and stuff bro just go check out Nunekin. I don't even, like, let me just shut up. D Santa George is telling you to go check out Nunekin. So if you would be so kind as to go check out Nunekin TV, I think me and Nunekin would appreciate it. Oh my god. Santa George is having fun. I tell you, oh my god. Reading out these shout outs just gets me, gets me happy. This is what we all gotta do. Positivity, baby. The holidays, baby. And Christmas spirit, baby. Woo! Santa Torch, damn. <laughs> Next on the list is Jerd. Woo! This is another channel that I genuinely think a lot of you will enjoy. Now, Jerd is a very interesting content creator. First of all, he streams on Twitch. It's Watermelon Torch. And by the way, his Twitch streams are in insanely entertaining. I wish I could pop into them more often. Unfortunately, I can't because I'm always doing things. You'd be surprised, the factory runs all year long and these goddamn watermelon elves are stupid bro it's like they don't got hands to grab things they just roll around it's crazy bro grow some legs grow some hands do like do do things gotta go on a rant about my freaking elf i gotta calm down calm down calm down calm down talking about jerd okay <laughs> look one thing jerd does is he divides his channel up into seasons so like jerd season one two three whatever season four started out really cool with this like minecraft video that ended up being interestingly weird. I suggest you watch it. Literally just go to his channel and click playlist and click season four. It's the first one. It has 10 videos and it ended with Jerdfest 2021, which was also a great video. He basically just makes big projects and they're good. Now he has many other channels. He has Jerd Live, which I'm not wrong, are just highlights. He has Jerd Burger, which is like just gaming videos, just general gaming videos. And he has Jerd Nuggets, which is a short channel. Oh, and he has his Twitch channel, like I said. How many subs is it? Jerd has 131 subs. Can we get him to at least 140, maybe 150? 150 is just 19 of y'all. 140 is just nine of y'all. I'd say we should get him to at least 140. Jerd deserves so much more love. I'm not even saying this to like, oh, go get him to 140. I'm saying this like, go watch his videos and you will actually want to subscribe. Like, like Jerd, it's, it's not even a, a, a matter of me telling you, hey, you should go subscribe to him. It's just go watch a video and like it, it'll do it for itself you you will want to subscribe like his videos are good all right let me stop freaking simping for jerd bro <laughs> next on the list is ollie mullins now ollie mullins has not subscribed subscribe bro come on ollie mullins has not made a video in a while oh my god i forgot ollie mullins <laughs> Switch his channel name to Just Mullins. My bad. I'm sorry, it's hard for me to say 
Just Mullins because I've been calling him Ali Mullins for so long. But Just Mullins has not uploaded a video for six months. But he has a lot, so go subscribe. His videos are good. I think you'll enjoy them. I told y'all last year to go sub. So this year I'll do it again just because, I mean, his videos are good. Next on the list is Blake. Now Blake has been working very, very hard. He uploads pretty much almost like every day. Not like 100% every day, at least once a week, I know that. He has a second channel with shorts on him too. And he recently hit 1,000 subscribers, so hey, clap it up. Clap it up for Blake. Go check out Blake. Good videos. He did his 1,000 uh, subscribers special, Draw My Life. Pretty good video. So yeah, go sub to Blake, because, you know, why, why wouldn't you, bro? Next on the list is I Am Socks. Now, Socks was also in the crab game video that I made. He has a gaming channel and a music channel. I will say, his music is genuinely fire. Homie is underrated. If you go through the comments on all of his, like, songs, people will always say he's underrated. Like, why do people not know more about Socks? And genuinely, why do people not know more about Socks, bro? Links are in the description. He also has a channel called Komodo. It used to be called, like, Squad X7 or something. That's his gaming channel. That's where I first found him. That's where we were like, oh, we should collab. And then he started doing music and stuff. And I was like, damn, okay, I see you. Go check out Sog's genuinely good, funny gaming videos and genuinely good music. Like, that's not even me going like, hey, yo, go check out my homie Chris. He next up. Like, he is genuinely good, bro. Next on the shout out list is Sassy Azzy. She is almost at 1K subs. And she's been streaming like a lot more. And bro, her streams genuinely entertaining she does like well i was about to say she does cod streams but she does a lot more than just call of duty streams that is one thing that she plays a lot on her channel though is call of duty she does a lot of uh tutorials for like easter eggs and she's been doing horror games call of duty she's been doing as i said mario she streamed yesterday and two days ago go check out sassy okay good consistency good videos and her streams genuinely entertaining last but not least on the shout out list for this year is helicat 96 she hasn't streamed in two months and that's because she's like moving or something she's moving and like she literally can't stream but her streams are entertaining i'm in there every once in a while she has 360 followers on twitch which for a small twitch creator that should tell you a lot that's a good amount go check out helicat 96 genuinely good streams and that ladies and gentlemen was shout out day santa torch has arrived i'll be taking over the channel I'll be taking over the channel and this squeaky chair, I guess. Anyways, but for real though, Santa Torch is here. I'll be taking over the channel for the next couple of days, considering there isn't going to be that many uploads. December is always a weird year. There's never that many uploads, because there's always things to do. Christmas games may be coming soon. I'm, I'm not really sure. If there's any good ones, I'll play it. But I, I just don't feel like checking out bad Christmas games. Santa Torch is only here for the good stuff. As we know, WT is out working on his projects. I'll let him be wherever the frick he went. I'm obviously gonna be finishing up some firewalks. I literally have to. And man, it's good to be back as always. That was me wasting your time. <coughs> Santa Torch, yes sir.